everything. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Learn HTML and CSS Part One on borders for the CSS box model. So last section we kind of saw how the boxes around like elements kind of work, and now what we're going to be doing moving forward is messing around with borders, which we assigned a border, but we didn't really do anything with it. So let's go ahead and go on. So there's a whole mess of borders. You have solid, which is what we had before, where you had a solid line. You can also have a dash border. You can have a dotted, a double, a groove. I haven't seen, I haven't used any of these before. Um, but let's go ahead and just start following the prompt here. So we want to find the uh, dot hotel, <laughs> which is our class hotel. And we want to give it a border. So we're going to do border stash style. Now you can do typically, usually you'll do this all in one, but if you just want to set one element or one, not parameter, attribute. If you just want to set one of these things, such as this border style, we can go ahead and do that to solid. You'll see now we have this solid border that's going around here. However, if you wanted to actually just set the width of the border, we could do that as well. We're going to uh, go ahead and do that, doing border width. And similar to how your fonts work, you can use uh, multiple things here, but typically pixels are the best way of going about it. Go ahead and run that. And now we, our border has a pixel of two width. They also have these um, other property names in here, thin, medium, and thick. So let's see what thick looks like. Let's go ahead and run that. You'll see it's a little bit thicker than what it was before. Let's change it back to two pixels. Move on. Now you'll find out that oftentimes your attributes that you're setting in here or your properties uh, that you're setting in here, you can typically put one one value in there, such as maybe just three pixels, and it'll go around for all. Or you can customize each side uh, of going top, right, basically top, right, bottom, left, in that order. And so you'll have a border. In this example, you have a top border of three pixels, a right border of one pixel, a bottom border of two pixels, and a left border of one pixel. So let's go ahead and uh, jump down to the hotel. And here they want us to set the right and left borders to a width of two pixels. Use one declaration that's at the top and bottom one. Alright, so we're going to do 4px top, 2px left, 4px bottom. I believe this is what they're asking. 2px. There we go. So you'll see right here we have a slightly thicker border and thinner border here. So you can also do the properties like this. Border dash top width, border dash right width. These are all the same, except just more detailed and you can use them in different things. Um, really just got to choose what works best for you and how detailed you want to be in your calling of the properties. All right, so in style CS, yes, it's top border with a 0.5 hotel. All right, so we're gonna do border dash top, dash width, and then here we're gonna go ahead and they want five pixels, five PX. I guess maybe they just wanted us to change it in here. Oops. Uh, 
Try to win that. Nope. Alrighty. Maybe they want us to do this. Border with 2px, then border dash with. Border dash top, excuse me. With. And they wanted us to set it to 5px. Let's see if this is what they wanted. Let's go ahead and get the code. I'm not quite sure what they're asking for here. Do they want us to set all of them like this? So let's go ahead and get a little help. We'll jump into the forums real quick. Check out what they're trying to ask here. Alright, so, it looks like it's an issue on their end, so we're going to go ahead and add an X here. And this may or may not fix our code. We're going to reset this exercise real quick. Yeah, you can see right now we're even having trouble here. All right. So they want us to use border. Oh, maybe they want us to get rid of the border altogether for everything. Let's just get rid of this X. And then we'll go ahead and get rid of the X on there as well. Okay, so I think what's going on is they want us only to have a border with top. Having some issues here with their system. Interesting. So we are at a impasse. We're gonna go ahead and try the adding the X on these classes real quick. One more time. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. Seems uh, from what I kind of gathered that there's a little bit of uh, an issue with this. Is not getting our code shift F5. Let's try a hard refresh. I'm just gonna clear the cache. So we're having a little bit of an issue here. <laughs> All 
Oh, apparently there's more than one dot hotel. What we'll do here is we'll go ahead and change this over real quick. So dot hotel X. Dot hotel X. They said there was five. This may be what we need to fix what we're trying to do here. Kind of a bootleg of way of going about it, but there we go. So we were able to pass that. Um, not ideal, but again, this is the preview version that we're doing, um, which is 99% the same as the updated version, but they're still working the kinks out. <coughs> Fing thing shows you a little bit of a interesting way of trying to problem solve uh, some of your Codecademy issues. All right, so in the hotel class selector, we're gonna set the color of the border to this. So you can also set different colors for the border. They don't have to just be, they just don't have to be black. And you can do that using any of the color schemes that we've used before, any of the color methods. So let's go ahead and jump down to our Hotel X here, which we may have to change right now. We'll find out if border color doesn't take. And then we're gonna go ahead and put that in there like so. It's gonna run that. Change our color here. Unfortunately, it looks like we're gonna have to change our X back here and take out all the X's. So just one moment. That's two, three, four, five, and now when we run it, Wait a second. Oh, so change this one more time. And now we should be good. So we're changing the color here. Um, again, you can use RGB, you can use RGBA, you can use um, just a straight up one of the like 140 plus uh, built in colors. Lots of cool stuff that you can do with that in terms of color. So they, they, they start talking about code bloat, uh, basically just saying that we're having a lot of code with this border style, border width, border color, when we actually could do just border and then apply it all in there. So this would go around the whole thing in terms of thickness. It'd be thickness, type, and then color. So let's go ahead and do that. we will run this real quick. Um, so we're going to jump right back into our style CSS. HTML and we're going to kind of combine a bunch of these so what we want is a border so there's that and we want to give it two pixels around the whole thing we want it to be solid and we want it to be the color slash ff which I believe is black excuse me it is white the exact opposite so there's also border radius. Let's go ahead and run this real quick. Border radius really is the corners of the border. You'll typically use it to make circles and things like that, um, or curved corners. So you see how this is not curved at all. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and target this, and we're gonna set border dash radius and we're just gonna go ahead and put that 10 px. Now when we run it, we'll have nice little curved corners right here. All right, so a little bit of a hiccup there. Um, this is a new thing, so they're working through some of the kinks. what did we learn? We learned about borders and we learned that they, you need to set the width of the border, you need to set the style you wanna use and the color and um, we also learned that it's you can go and set just the top, just the bottom in various ways. But at the end of the day, the 99% of the time you'll be setting a border like this in one one parameter or one uh, property. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and uh, send the video to someone who you think may need it. And a special thanks to you for supporting me on Patreon. It's really appreciated and uh, helps out a ton. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Definitely check them out at devmountain.com. If you're looking for a boot camp that's in front-end development, iOS, or UX, go ahead and give them a shot. 
Tuition includes housing so you can get up and go and fully immerse yourself in the program. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.